Well, it is officially terrestrial season. I was out mowing a field this past weekend. Grasshoppers and crickets were all over the place. But I'm not going to tie another hopper pattern for you today. I'm sure I will. Plenty more this summer, but right now I've got plenty in my box. I'm going to tie a beetle pattern for you today. And oddly enough, it's about as big as a hopper. I got it from Scott Sanchez's A New Generation of Trout Flies, published in 2005. The pattern is called his Mega Beetle. Now he does tie these pretty big, hence the name. And there was an interesting quote in the chapter on this. Let me read that for you. Fish don't have as much problem eating a size 10 beetle as the angler has fishing it. Big beetles can attract fish from a distance. And he goes on to say that this can be an effective pattern all season, but it can be particularly effective late in the season when the fish have pretty much seen every hopper we have in our boxes. Now this one, his mega beetle. It's not a difficult tie, no exotic materials, but he does use one tactic that you don't see on a lot of beetle patterns, and that's wrapping a hackle parachute style. And I think that makes this a pretty cool looking pattern and certainly a fun one to tie. So there we go, in the vise is Scott Sanchez's Mega Beetle. Now note that yellow indicator, that's purely for us. That's what the fish is gonna see right there. Now he does tie this big, that's why it's called a Mega Beetle. Size is eight to 14, I'm gonna go to size 10. This is a standard length barbless dry fly hook. And since this is a foam body pattern, I wanna use a 140 denier. It just makes working with foam a little bit easier. So I'll lay this down to the start of the bend. Let's put a little wax on here, and the underbody is some kind of ice dub, synthetic, peacock, um, black, or anything with just a little bit of flash in it. We're going to dub it all the way up to the almost the eye. Okay, that's a almost a maybe a two inch noodle. I'm gonna put a couple wraps until it starts laying some dubbing down, then try and tighten it up just a little bit more. Okay, I didn't get it all that tight. That's a little bit fuzzy there, but we're gonna be fine. So let's take a couple wraps back and we wanna start it, um, or you know, put the midsection about a third of the way back. Now the next thing we catch in, some black two millimeter foam pretty much about a hook gap and one and a half times the body length. He says cut it kind of an oval egg shape. That's not a perfect egg, but you know, look at these. None of those I did earlier are either. But you know what, they've worked. So let's catch this in with the back section just a little bit past the bend of the hook. And the front section is gonna be our head and we can uh, trim that shorter if we need to. And this is why I'm using the 140 denier thread. Makes this part just a little bit easier. We're going to basically lay a band down. Kind of a wide little area right here. These wraps aren't real tight. But you see that? I'm, I'm creating a, a flat banded area kind of right there. Now the next component, black rubber legs. And Sanchez just said, you know, tie them in one at a time. What I typically do for these. I just fold it over, pull some extra thread out, and then a couple of loose wraps, and then position them coming off to the sides. See that? And now pull even more loose thread out. If you, if you really dog it down right here, you might jostle them around more than you want. So loose wraps, very loose wraps, hardly any tension at all right here. And then maybe after you've got five or six wraps, you could put a, a tight one or two, but probably not even needed. Okay, I think that's gonna be fine right there. That might be sticking up a little bit more than I want, but we're gonna be okay. So let's go ahead and cut that. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut them to size. That looks like a big panfish spider right there, which is not the look we're going for. So on these type bugs, beetles, and usually hoppers too, I'll cut the front legs just a little bit shorter than the back. Try to anyway. Okay, I think that's gonna be just fine. Now we're gonna tie in the indicator. Whatever color you want, yellow, you could use white. He said a green or orange. I didn't have either of those, so I'm gonna go with the yellow. And again, two millimeter. I'm just going to put this in, let it flare up. Several wraps right here. We'll trim it in just a second. 
Okay, that front one might be about right. The back one, well, maybe let's go with the front one a little bit shorter as well. There we go. Again, that's just for us. Fish is going to see that right there. Now, this might be the coolest part of the fly. Grizzly hackle dyed brown, green, whatever. Um, this one is a dyed green. So just cut it off and leave a few of the barbs short right there with the, you know, the small end of the feather pointing forward. And we're just going to catch this in right here on my side of this hackle or not hackle, um, indicator. So you see that two wraps right there. We'll go ahead and do three. And now we're gonna wrap this just over the legs, but under this indicator. And it's not that hard to do. Just take your time right here. Two or three wraps and you're gonna get some kind of fuzzy legs, I guess is what this indicates or what it is imitating. I really don't know, but it is kind of cool. And how do you tie this off, you're wondering? I was too. I'm glad he had the instructions in the book. Just put a couple wraps. Your thread's still right there in the middle. Just zigzag it through right here. Two or three wraps. Whoops, that spun a little bit on me right there. Probably should have started with some super glue. That might have been smarter. But now we're underneath. Let's go right back up to the eye and we'll whip finish it up there and we'll trim that feather in just a second. See if we have any clean up here. Okay, that head is a little bit too long. You know, beetles heads aren't that big. So let's just trim this a little shorter. Maybe I should have done that before I put that hackle on because I risk snipping some of this hackle right now, but we'll be okay. And there we go. That's the fish's view right there. And that's what we're gonna see. So pretty cool little pattern, the mega beetle. Not that hard to tie, but you know, it's kind of fun. So I appreciate you watching everybody. Y'all take care and we'll see you next time.